All right, so this is a deck I have been excited to try out. As soon as I saw Kara Kazam, I was like, this is Cho'Gall's moment to shine. So you can see that I've had some uh, time to plan this. So I have some gold cards here, which are obvious replacement cards, indicating that I should put in Kara Kazam and Cho'Gall. Uh, and this is a great time to sacrifice to the gods, since I don't have enough dust for Cho'Gall. We will sacrifice Harold Velosh. Break open the piggy bank. Enter Cho'Gall. He also has an epic entry sound. It's of course very important. So even though it's only a two card change, I mean, in Reno Lock, you often go through every single one of your cards. Uh, you often go through the majority of your cards. So Cho'Gall is going to be often drawn. Uh, so is Karakazam. And these two, like, being together is kind of the point. Cho'Gall, with an additional, like, card you can just play proactively, makes Cho'Gall possibly good enough. Uh, Cho'Gall also has Siphon Soul, and Shadow Flame is probably the most likely, and Shadow Bolt. Uh, and in a in a really desperate situation where you need one more mana, you can Cho'Gall into Twisting Nether, but that seems unlikely. And remember that, it's your standard Reno Nazoth deck, where you're just, uh, playing to try to stay even in the early game. Uh, clear off with the board uh, clears if you ever fall behind, which is going to be often. At the late game you stabilize with Reno, and then you like play your big stuff. And then you win the game. It's a play style that I really love doing. Victory or death! Your soul shall be mine! I've got the combo already! Some people are saying that barn seems decent here. I think I did the math, but I will do the math again. So here's the cards that are bad for barns. Ooze, Peddler, I'm gonna not say Doomsayer because it could be good. Protector, Earthen Ring Farseer, uh, Defender Vargas, Spellbreaker, Twilight Drake, Wind Drake. So Drake. Um, Kodo, Reno Jackson. Struggle is actually possibly good. Uh, Lord Jaraxxus, Nazoth, and Mountain Giant. So that's 12 cards that are not great with Barnes. And then on the good side with Barnes, you have Harvest Golem, Imp King Boss, Infested Torin, Cairn, Thorsand, Sylvanas, Cho'Gall, Ragnaros. So it's 8. So therefore, seems like not the place for Barnes to be. And yes, uh, by default it's a Yeti, which isn't bad, but I also already have a lot of 4-drops in this deck. Uh, between the Twilight Drakes and the Mountain Giants, which are also 4-drops. Which is why, to create this deck, I cut Refreshment Vendor. I'll play this the next turn I can tap Giant. Uh, although I quite possibly should have Kodo an Acolyte of Pain instead. I wield the power of Black Oh, Cho'Gall's bad. My bad. I misremembered Cho'Gall's text. So yeah, not really great reasons to play. I'll tap Doomseer who's here, I think. So many possibilities. Do I really want to tap? Yeah, it's tough to play the Doomsayer after this turn. The end is coming! When I look back at all the good old times that I've had with this deck, 
I feel like I've been tapping too much. Because... Tap Giant would have been like my go-to play before. And tap this this is only a little bit less greedy. I mean, like clearly, um, if I can play like all these cards in my hand, I'm going to win. So I don't really have a reason to tap anymore. That said though, it's not like I can actually play any of these cards. I mean, Cairn is probably best. Cost the most mana. Mountain Giant just gets executed. Trollgall, Siphon Soul would be really good if he played like Ragnaros. That seems to be a setup for his 9-9. Uh, Yes! Insect killed. Just gotta dodge Gromish Inner Ridge, which is super unusual. Would be super unusual. It's super unusual. Okay, Earthen this thing so that it doesn't get executed. Hmm. No, better to play the Mountain Giant and then taunt both. He doesn't have the Execute now, obviously. I think I actually tap, because I have the mana too. And it's not like he can get past this stuff. I and kill me. Now it's just a search for Reno. Ooh, Cho'Gall. Got that Cho'Gall Siphon Soul combo or Cho'Gall stuff. My blade be thirsty. Hmm, let's gain health. Lock it in. Walk in as a win. My eyes are mm, this one? This one. Yeah. That I feel really good about this deck. Though I, though Asterisk, I'm probably affected by this being my favorite deck. Yeah, seeing Reno's grim, uh, smug smile though makes me happy. He's like, I got you, bro. You're not gonna lose. And also, I'm getting bosses really nice. Actually, I could lose. Um, so that's a 4-4, four, four, that's a 3-3 three, three now. I won't lose. Probably. That's 12 damage with, fraud, with the ghoul. So I'd go down to a uh, 4. But then I'd have Infested Torrin. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Um... Panic? Yeah, panic! Wow, somehow I lost. 
Reno. Reno. No. Thanks. That was a mistake. I will crush you. Oh my goodness. Your soul shall be mine! Ha 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 Extraordinary! Ha 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 Cool, I like the science. What kind of a uh, deck would be running Swash Burglar? It's either a value deck or a tempo deck. So far, his opening is very tempo y. But that's completely RNG. What's that, guys? Is this card garbage? We'll find out. I actually think it's decent, it's just that I'm not sure what archetype it fits in. That's actually really scary against this deck. Four mana, five, six. Eh, we'll probably have to Shadow Bolt that. Oh, the trades. Alright, I'll just go Twilight Trick. Very tempo. I have to hope he doesn't have the second sap. Or I'm basically losing. I got the best deals anywhere. So that has to be with prep. Maybe with backstab. Maybe with both. Ah, no conceal. Never mind. It's a miracle. Well, I can seal. That pit lord is going to town on me, though. So this is, it looks like it's a Miracle Rogue deck, which just decided to put in two Swash Burglars. Burglars. And the Swash Burglars burgled some pretty good things in this matchup. Ha, hmm. <laughs> this guy's toast. The Brotherhood shall come Could not possibly stand up to the might of Pit Lord. I'm happy for him though. He did it. I guess I should have siphoned to try to buy another turn, but nah. Watch your back. Your soul shall be mine. Pretty good start. Let's see, do I start with tap or do I start with peddler? I guess I'll just try to go two drop, three drop, four drop. If I didn't have the defender, I think I would. Ooh, new card. I think I would try to just tap and then harvest golem and then tap pedal. D. 
deal. Thank you. This is exciting. I don't think as Reno like I've ever played Defender of Argus on turn three and hit two things. And I played Reno Lock a lot. I probably have done it every once in a while, but not very not often enough. Very rare. Circumstance. Good here. A lot of choices are pretty good. If I play this, I have to think about what I'll play next turn. The Mountain Giant will cost three next turn, so I can go Giant Coin Six Drop. Yep, that's pretty good. So Giant Cairn next turn. Tonight, a tale of wonder and magic. That's pretty good. I don't yeah, actually have to deal with that, probably. So I think I have to go Demon Wrath. Maybe Demon Wrath into Giant? No? Oh, coil. Nice. I should choose the one that spends more mana, which would be Karen here. I wonder. <laughs> this guy's toast. Got the Chogol Siphon Soul Synergy. Oh man. Here we go. 2 mana, 8-8. Eight, eight. Coin Chogol. Dunno now. Ha ha ha! This feels like a Karazhan card because I have not played it until Karazhan. I'm looking for pretty much Shadow Flame, exactly. Or do I have four damage in here somehow? No, it's probably removing something, right? Hmm. Maybe not, though. I don't think I have four damage in this deck, though. Hmm. Come on, Shadow Flame. More twisting. Come on, Shadow Flame. Taunting up might be best. Played both saps. Alright. Hmm. There's actually a serious consideration on if I want to hear kill Chogol or if I want to kill myself. So 7-7 seven, seven versus 7-5. Seven, Doesn't matter. I think it does. I care, Chogol. I figured if it was Malagos, I would have died anyways. I'm 
dead now though. Okay, well, uh, we can chalk this down as another uh, science gone wrong. I'm not sure why, but for some reason, Reno Lock just doesn't seem very strong at the moment. Or maybe I got the bat and the variance, who knows. Uh, taunting Sylvanas was probably a better play, it's true. I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine. Even though this deck looks glum. Um maybe it was variants. And I haven't been able to try out this Karakazam and Dr. Broom yet. I need to get a Dr. Broom play in play before I can it's like one of my goals. I think this is it. This is the Dr. Broom game. Reporting for duty. None may steal our secrets. Let's see, seems like a slow deck. It is a slow deck. Corruption, perhaps? Possessed Villager is not bad. Mm. Next turn I'm gonna go 3 plus tap. Turn after that, it's pro- eh, Possessed Villager. than I thought it was. I would be happy with this board being clear. I offer you this exchange. Can I us? Can I interest you in a trade agreement? Reporting for duty. No deal. But developed imp gang boss. So that's good. If I uh, spell break that, it becomes a 3 3 without Divine Shield. Demon Wrath seems pretty good here, but I can't kill that I thing. Wonder. So, really, there's almost no point to Demon Wrathing. I actually want a 1 1 though. Yep. Oh, hype! I think the next turn is going to be Dr. Broom. Back to your homes. I can't imagine. Let's show our guests. Ooh. Impressive. Well, ignore that and just go Dr. Broom. Random thought, if these characters looked closer to like twos and threes, that'd be awesome. Like this broom could be twisted the other way around and then like almost look like a two. And then if the teapot were like the other way around, it could be a three or something. They missed an art opportunity there. Opinion me. No, Doctor! Nothing scares me. Except me. Oh. Ha -ha. Back to your homes. It's gotten a surprising amount of the synergy to work. It, I don't think it normally works that well. But who knows, maybe it does. Probably not though. 
Alright, what's died so far with Death Rattle? Harvest Golem? And that's it. And this, uh. None may steal villager guy. Reporting for duty. Squish. <laughs> you face Duraxus, the Minimal Lord of the Burning Legion! <laughs> Who knows what secrets will uncover? Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? What, are you kidding me? That's incredible! All the Carlos guys played this game have been absolutely incredible. How do you even get that lucky? I don't even... If only I'd played Nazoth instead! I had no idea you could burst that much through a taunt. And also have a board. How is that... that that's not... that's not fair. Flabbergasted. You don't play fair. I, I did top deck, uh, Twisted Knight of that. Alas.